Let's take a quick look at using date fields and operators within Jira's query language. The most straightforward example is something along the lines of project equals our project key, dx in this case, and create date is greater than year, month, day. Taking into account that the greater than sign actually means the start of day on the third, so this will include issues that were created on the third, even though we're saying what looks like greater than the third or after the third. Best way to think of this is if you consider that Jira is using under the bonnet the time as well as the date, so that we're looking for issues created at a date and time greater than the start of day on the third, which is why it's picking up these issues, even though we're just using greater than. Now, of course, you can narrow this down even further if you use another clause in this statement. So perhaps we might use and created date is less than three so that we're looking for created date between a start and an end date. And again, the thing to watch out for here is that we're not actually picking up issues that were created on the 3rd of August because this again is under the bonnet using the time to the start of day, which is why it misses in this case issues on the 3rd of August, when in this case it picks up issues on the 3rd of August. So this is just something to watch out for, that Jira under the bonnet is using the date and time even if you're just using the time. So what, it, what you need to remember is that greater than does include issues created on this date and less than does not include issues created on this date. For clarity and to avoid confusion, this is why I like to add the time into the date clause so that it makes it obvious what is and what isn't being included. So this is using absolute dates and times. We've also got the ability to use relative dates with this syntax. So rather than put a specific date and time in, you can use minus seven days, and that is looking at issues that were created after the date seven days ago. And if you want to look at dates in the future, then greater than seven days is seven days in the future. And if you learn to time travel and create issues in the future, let me know. So something more logical here would probably be to use the due date field. So this is issues that are due at a point in time seven days in the future. Or, as this is really boils down to a week, we could use one week. And of course you've got years, days, months. If you make a mistake with this, put a wrong value in there, Jira will give you some examples of the date format, relative and absolute, that you can use. We can narrow this down even further with another clause in here. So we could do due date is greater than using a function now and due date is less than two weeks away, which gives us all issues that are due in the next two weeks. And of course, if we didn't have the now clause in there, we would be getting all issues that are due in the past and up to two weeks from now. But this actually brings us back onto some date functions that Jira provides us with. So we're looking at the now function here, which is this point date and time. There are a range of other functions that Jira provides us with that include start of day, end of day, start of week, end of week, month and year. Bear in mind that the week start of week and end of week, it defaults to using Sunday as the first day of the week, 
and we can also feed in some parameters to adjust the value that comes from these functions, which we'll see in a moment. So to use these functions, we can do something like this. So due date is greater than now, and due date is less than end of week. Okay, so that's up to the end of this week, that being Saturday or Sunday, and that's pulled back no issues, but if we add three weeks in there, this will give us all of the issues that are due in three weeks time. Bear in mind that three weeks in this instance is talking about the end of this week, the end of next week, and the end of the week after. So it's not three weeks, it's the end of week, the end of three weeks, which is why it pulls out the issue on the 19th in this particular instance. If you wanted three weeks rather than the end of weeks, then of course you'd use the just plain old three weeks. Taking this a step further then, a scenario you'll find really useful is to combine status changes with dates. You could use project equals dx and status changed to in progress after start of week. So this would bring back issues that have moved to an in progress status after the start of the week we're in. And if you want to get even more focused, you could do something along the lines of status changed from in progress to a done status after start of week one week ago. Which gives us all of the issues we started working on a week ago that transitioned from, if we look at the history, that transitioned from an in progress to a done status. Of course, there's a million and one permutations. Of course, there's a million and one permutations on this, but if you get to grips with relative date syntax and the absolute date, bearing in mind that you want to be conscious of the time that's used under the bonnet as well. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at searching for issues based on versions.